Stephanie Gilmore, you know, 2007, she was a rookie on tour, not only took out that honor, but her first world title. So I don't think any of the ladies on that list have done that to date. Winning a world title in their rookie year is so impressive. And again, Tatiana pushing that wave count up once again as she has ridden seven waves already and nine minutes to go as she finds this inside connection here. So another great wave choice, trying to improve on a low score of a 3.03. I think she's done that, Rosie. Yeah, well, we mentioned Waves of Consequence. She's just so well adapted. Those kinds of ways, you always watch her for big performances. But taking out the U.S. Open win in, you know, beach break conditions, it looks like she's kind of replicating that form here at Ginchu. So she could definitely say that tricky conditions are her strength. She's really making it look fun out in this lineup as we have a, another look at this wave from her. I like the way that she drops down for a deep bottom turn. Just staying in that critical section gives her the ability to crack it straight up in the lip. As soon as it gets flat, she works that board to try and find some momentum looking for this inside connection is so important just to show that you committed to this ride so Tatiana making light work of the conditions on hand at the moment so here's Laura Enerver picking up this wave on the break a 4.0 yeah important ride for Laura to get herself back in this heat see so you're just trying to maneuver through these sluggish sections. This is where it starts to stand up a little bit. She gets to stamp that maneuver there. Just looking for that little bit of kind of lip to work with. It doesn't really offer itself up to her. And this is Alessa Quizon already has a 2.8 in her score line. This is wave number two with seven and a half minutes to go. We'll take you to the outside section here on the replay, but Finishing up through the inside. 